Hey nerd family, long time no see. Before we get into the video, I've got some exciting news. There's a new nerd on this channel. I'll give you all the details later, but for now, I just wanted to give you a heads up for why the voice is a little different. Talk soon. Hello nerd fam. Do you keep making the same New Year's resolutions year after year to only let them fall by the wayside? How many times do you need to tell yourself you're going to improve your health, go for that promotion, start reading more, or kick that nasty habit before you actually go through with it? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to choose the right New Year's resolution as well as a simple five-step framework to help you stick to it. It's easier than you think. New Year's resolutions aren't new. Humans have been making New Year's resolutions for thousands of years. The word January is derived from the Latin god Janus, who presided over new beginnings and transitions. The belief was that Janus symbolically looked backwards into the previous year and ahead into the future. The Romans offered sacrifices to this deity and made promises of good conduct for the coming year. By the 1800s, New Year's resolutions had become a common secular practice. 80% of New Year's resolutions fail every single year. One would think that after thousands of years of practice, we would have figured this out by now. New Year's resolutions need to be simple. You may be thinking of grand New Year's resolutions like losing 30 pounds or finally committing to running that local marathon. While these are both fantastic ideas, there are actually many smaller goals and habits that must be implemented along the way to reach your final destination. Rome wasn't built in a day. It was built brick by brick. You won't lose 30 pounds in a day. You'll get there pound by pound. Instead of focusing on the end goal, you should be focusing on creating habits that create the process relevant to reaching your goal. Let's say your New Year's resolution is to run your local marathon. You don't just wake up on race day, tie your shoes, and head to the starting line. Between now and race day, you've created little habits like daily jogging, drinking more water, and prioritizing sleep and recovery to prepare yourself for the race. Let's say your resolution is to lose weight. Starving yourself and going to the gym for five hours every single day won't get you to a new sustainable healthy weight. This strategy is a recipe for burning. On the other hand, small things like increasing veggie intake, working out a few times per week, and weighing in more often to keep yourself accountable will help keep you on track to your goal without causing burnout. The gratification you'll receive from being present and enjoying small wins every day will be far more rewarding than delaying all gratification until you hit your final goal. This daily dopamine hit will help to keep you on track. As James Clear says in Atomic Habits, when you fall in love with the process rather than the product, you don't have to wait to give yourself permission to be happy. You can be satisfied anytime your system is running. So now, let's move to the most important part of making resolutions that stick. The five-step framework is the secret to sticking to your resolution. A very important factor is making your resolution smart. No, not smart as in reading more books or studying harder. Smart as in S-M-A-R-T, as in specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. Let's go back to this weight loss example. By using the SMART framework, you might set your goal as specific, saying, I want to lose 10 pounds of fat by the start of summer, instead of, I want to lose weight. Measurable, I want to lose fat at a rate of three quarters of a pound per week, instead of crossing your fingers and hoping, hopefully I'm doing this right. Attainable, setting yourself up for success by choosing a realistic goal instead of wanting to lose 10 pounds of fat in two weeks. Relevant, does losing fat fit into your overall vision of your happy and healthy future? Lastly, time-based, giving yourself 18 weeks. Imposing a deadline on yourself will help keep you on track to hit your goal. With this framework, you have a realistic plan and a map outlining how to get you to your end goal. If you need some help, check out our channel for more weight loss content. You can also purchase our weight loss course. My promise to all of you in 2022 is to provide you with simple, actionable, and evidence-based strategies to be a happier, <laughs> healthier, and fitter you. Please let us know in the comment section below what your resolutions will be this year. Give inspiration to others on the channel. And please, like and subscribe to be notified of our next tip. See you next time.